Hi. And would you like to introduce yourself to yes. us? Yes. I'm John Spizak, the president and CEO of Solar Rover, the company that manufactures these mobile solar generators. It's a it's a generator just like any other generator. The difference is instead of diesel fuel, it uses fuel from the sun. And what's so important about that is, especially in disasters like Sandy, is that it gives you the ability to have power up and running much, much faster and not have to worry about where do you find generators, how do you resupply fuel when it's not available. Uh, th this particular generator can power several homes on an emergency basis, and by that I mean a few CFL lights, a refrigerator, a microwave to keep people safe, keep them warm. You don't need to run your plasma TV or your air conditioners or your Game, game Boys, but if you want to stay in your house and be comfortable, this is what this is designed to do. But most importantly, as you know, with disasters like Sandy and Katrina and Rita, you have to round up generators from all over the countryside. You've got to bring them in. Yeah. You've got to have people resupplying fuel, and then when you're done, they've got to be drained and taken back to the warehouse. These can be pre-positioned, like at schools or fire stations or pharmacies, okay. and plugged in between storms, generating clean, silent power. There's no need to put them in a warehouse. You can offset your utility bill, and you can have them ready to go at a moment's notice, already pre-positioned. So you know the value of that. Right, and where did you come from? We're, we're a Colorado company. We developed this as a response to Katrina. We've been engineering it for the last several years. And now we're trying to convince the government that this is a, a real value equation, not just for the environmental side, but it actually saves the taxpayers money because they're cheaper to operate. They're cheaper to, to operate in a response mode like this. And they're silent and they're zero emission. Can you say a little bit about uh, cl the climate crisis and how your company can help alleviate Well, that? we, our, our whole focus is, is to find alternative ways to prevent addition of carbon to the atmosphere and, and to make life a lot easier on people. The suffering here is amazing in the Rockaways that we've witnessed. We also witnessed that same terrible suffering in, in, uh, in New Orleans. And, and whatever reason these, whatever reasons are behind whatever's going on in, in, in these natural disasters, it's critically important that we move to the 21st century in the way we respond. And this is the 21st century. This is a proven technology. It will save lives, it will save suffering, and it will certainly save money. Thank you so much for bringing it out here and traveling all that way. You're welcome. Thank you.